Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Dio. I'm the founder of Dio Wealth Management, the creator of the Happiness Dividend blog and the Mindful Money Toolbox. Today we want to ask a question. We want to ask uh, what is financial planning exactly? Of course, good planning starts with an understanding of where you are right now and an understanding of where you want to go for the rest of your life, your idea of the life well lived. It must begin with your hopes about all the things that could go right and it has to include some fears about those things that might go wrong. A financial plan includes three different elements. First, an analysis of your current financial situation. Then a look at your lifetime of milestones, which would include lifestyle, college tuition for kids, grandkids, large purchases, cars, houses, retirement income you can't outlive, caring for your parents if you have to, and if everything goes well, a legacy. And finally, we have to look at prioritization and a design of trade-offs to ensure that all the things you want to have happen in your life happen the way you want them. Another big part of financial planning is putting all those lifestyle milestones into numbers. How much will it cost eight years from now to send your first ch child to college? How about 11 years from now to send your second child? What happens if you're injured on the job and can't work to earn a living? What happens if uh, you die prematurely? If my parents needed support, how much would they need? How much would they need to come from me? How do I create that? How big a portfolio do I need to spin off an income that one, rises with my rising cost of living, and two, I never outlive? How much do I have right now, and how much do I need to save every single month to make that portfolio happen? Good Financial Plan looks at a lifetime of projected cash flow, earnings, spending, savings, and helps us know what's possible and tells us when we might be overreaching. Remembering we all have limited resources, if sending my kids to the best colleges is my top priority, I might need to work longer, or save more, or take more risk in my portfolios, though that's a last resort. I tend to believe that financial planning comes before investing and tells us how we should invest. So what should you do? If you haven't done any financial planning, you can start by documenting your current financial situation. How much do you make? Where do you spend it? How much do you save? How much could you save? How much do you have saved? And consider those milestones, which ones are important to you. You'll definitely need a retirement income. Are you saving enough to get there? Look at each of your goals, how much you need, how much you have, and then how are you gonna bridge the gap? If you know what you have and what it's worth, you can make informed decisions about what to do with it. You can pre-experience the outcomes of your choices and begin to see the cause and effect of financial decisions. The road between here and there is far shorter for those who know the way. Thanks for listening and good luck.